my name is Jimmy Levesque or James Levesque. And I've worked in Murdochville for 45 years. I was at, I was at Murdochville and now I'm out here about 20 or so. Eh? Yeah, 20 years, I guess. Eh? And I know a lot of people. Originally from where? Jacket River, New Brunswick, God's country. <laughs> God's country. <clears throat> and how, how come you moved here? Did you grow up in New Brunswick? Well, when I was a young fella, I needed work. And there wasn't much in New Brunswick. So one guy had worked at the mine and he asked me to come over to check, you know. And them days, money was very, very... So I borrowed 20 bucks. So I go to Murdochville. He said, you sleep in my bed at night when I'm working. And in the morning, I would get up and go look for a job. So uh, I went over and when I landed there, it was on the 15th of November, about two feet of snow. I went to the mine for a job and the guy told me, he said, where are you from? I said, from New Brunswick. Oh, he said, can't hire you. He said, I have to hire the people from Gaspe first, which is understandable, you know, the mine was starting in Gaspe. I felt kind of bad because I would never be able to get home for a week and I only had $20, I had to eat. So this guy passed out and he seen me from my place. He said to me, did you get a job? I said, no, my goodness, he said, they're looking for guys like you that play hockey and play ball because the mind wants to start something they got. I said, he didn't. He said, I'll go to see what I can do. He said, go back in the afternoon. So I went back in the afternoon and sitting around, there must have been 15 or 20 guys there for sure. And the guy came out of the office and he called my name. So I went inside. He says, is that right you play ball for Bathurst? I said, yeah. Oh, he said, he said, I come from Bathurst. Oh. He said, uh, you play hockey also, eh? I said, yeah, a little bit. He said, somebody's going to come to see you. So, sure enough, about an hour later, a big guy come over and started to talk to me. And he said, uh, where do you want to work? I said, it doesn't matter as long as I have a job. He said, being you play sports, he said, the hockey coach stays in the open pit. He works there all the time, and maybe you'll work for him. I said, it just don't matter. Just give me a job. So that's how I got my job. I was kind of happy about that, let me tell you. The mine was a great place to work. We had great people. I like the people I work with. Yeah, there was a lot of... In Murdochville, it's different than Gaspe. In Murdochville, you had a lot of real friends, but they were working friends. You know, you meet them on the job and you're good friends. But you never had much of a life outside of... Unless, like me, I played sports and hockey and ball all the time. I was okay. But it's hard to get, a, you know, people really, really well. Like, I knew his dad, like, pretty well because he was my age and he hang around with us. But to really get, but out here, uh, it's such friends out here, it's unbelievable. When I come out here, and one guy come to my place, Ron Mundell, he said, to come here and he said to me, Jimmy, you should join the seniors. That was 17, 18 years ago. I said, are you crazy? <laughs> join the seniors at my age. He said, well, we're going to lose our franchise here, he said because there's only about 17 or 18 people around the gas station, English people, you know. Well, I said I joined because I keep this going, not because I wanted to be with the seniors. But now, to get me out of the seniors, they'll have to shoot me. <laughs> Honest. I really like the gang of people here. They're good people. We play cards. They have nice house parties. Lots of music. He should be around. He plays the guitar. So we could have a lot of fun around here. And, and Murderville, it used to be a lot different, right? Because it's very hard for me, who's known Murderville just for the past... Yeah, it is, yeah. Years. Murderville was different. There was a lot of cold, cold days. Wintertime was very cold in Murderville. And I don't know, good place to work. You're only five minutes from work, and you know, you can go to work in five minutes. Everything was so, so close. And you got to know the people. The people from Gaspe, Actually, I worked in Murderville. After we got our rink, and there, the hockey rink and everything, 
nobody come out on the weekend. They'd all go out there for hockey games. And we would have exhibition games with, in the spring of the year, like, you know, Quebec Aces, Junior Canadians, and different teams, Tree River Lions, and just different teams like that. Everyone from Gas would be up there. On Saturday night, you could come and rob Gas, there'd be nobody here. I mean, everybody was in Murdochville. And that was good. And we had two hotels, lots of beer, lots of fun, and good people. What position did you play? Oh, I was a goaltender. <laughs> Nobody else wanted that job. <laughs> and did you like this position? or? Uh, I, was, I couldn't I wasn't a very good skater when I was a kid, so I had to play somewhere. I liked sports. And uh, yeah, I like I like playing goal. A little hard on the weekend after you're finished playing, you're all bruised up. But I didn't mind. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I find I'm a better goaltender now than what I was playing, because everybody seen me playing. Oh boy, Jimmy! Oh, how good you were! I wasn't that good. No. But I'm better now. I find I'm better now. You know. <laughs> And so you still play today? <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I have trouble to walk today. But it was a good time in Mr. Sorry, yeah. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lovett used to play goal with no mask. This is when oh, they no. lucky with no mask. No, no mask, no. I never use a mask. Not no. very much equipment. Yeah. So That's why I'm kind of bugging you now. I've been hit a few times in the head. <laughs> but, 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 so would this happen, getting the puck in the face? Oh, it hurts. I was more dangerous with my own players than the other players. Because when they would shoot, My player would maybe put his stick out and the puck would fly, you know, that that was the dangerous part. I got hit a few times, I go tell with a lump and it cut the back of my head here. <laughs> It's, uh, it was a dangerous job. But playing against a professional hockey team like Quebec and them, they were good sports. They weren't rough, you know. They'd tell you what they were what they were gonna do. But uh, it was good games. I played against a lot of guys that played in the NHL. Corn Marier and Jacques Lapierre and all those old players played against a lot of those guys. And they came all the way up here? They would come to Murdochville for exhibition games in oh. spring of the year because they never made the playoffs. Eh? So we would pay so much money for them to come and they were making money, you know. And uh, they would really, I played against a lot of Bob Beckett and Buddy Boone and guys that played with Boston. And there was one guy from Valleyfield. He was playing in the, in the American Hockey League. His name was Jerry Glode. And I could hear people saying what kind of a shot he really had, a really a wicked shot. So one more, I were warming up. This big guy come along, tapped me on the head, hello, young fella. I said, hello. He said, you know who I am? I said, yeah, I know who you are. He said, I got the hardest shot in the American Hockey League. You know that, eh? I said, yeah. But he said, all the time low. And it was a shot, let me tell you. But what could you do? You had to get in the road some way. <laughs> Couldn't get out of the road. And so you met your wife in Murdochville too? Yeah. She was yeah. working for the hospital there? Yeah, she worked at the hospital, yeah. She came there with her sister. Her sister's husband was working at the mine. From came from Amos, uh, Quebec, you know. and. Uh, She see me there at the hockey games, going to the hockey games, and of course she chased me around. I didn't chase her. You know, you know how life goes on. Eh? She must have seen you play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a very nice person, very good woman. So she was not from the coast. No, she wasn't from here. She was around Valdor and Amos, and yeah. yeah. And so you met up there. I met at the mine, yeah. Yeah, Murdochville, yeah. And did you have children? Yeah, I have three. Three children? Two boys and one girl. I had four. One one kid died at two years old. But I have two boys outside of Montreal and one girl in Nova Scotia. And do they come here often? Do they come here? They were here this summer, yeah. My daughter doesn't very, come very often. I go more to or less. Nova yeah. I like Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is nice. See, when I was going to retire, I decided that I might go to Nova Scotia instead of coming over here, you know, I found it. But then I went down a few times, it was nice. But where she lived was awful quiet for me. I'm used to seeing people and getting out, you know, around 
and I like to get out. I don't like to stay around the house all the time. So then I, I guess she traced me enough and I decided to stay here. So in your opinion, Gaspe is, is much more livelier? It's like yeah, Gaspe, yeah. Oh, yeah. People in Gaspe are pretty nice, pretty nice people. Pretty good people that I know anyway. Some I don't know, it could be very bad, but the ones that I know is pretty good. I don't want to hang around with bad people. No. no. Were you involved in other activities earlier in your life? I bowled a little bit, but I'm not very good at bowling. I was more in the gutter than I was down the center. Baseball. You know? Baseball. Oh, yeah, baseball. I love baseball. I, that was my favorite sport when I was a young fellow, baseball. See, I live 35 miles from Bathurst. Okay. And I played an exhibition game, I guess, and somebody had seen that maybe you could make my team. So they got me to play in Bathurst. So the first year I was there, I was only 18. And I played with the senior team. And then I got to know the younger guys, you know. So the next year I played with the junior ball, you know. But we played in the same league, but I played with more my age. And we'd play uh, in Moncton and Memorand Cook and play for the playoffs, you know. Always got beat, but we still played. <laughs> what Never position, won. What position did you play? I was pitcher. I was a pitcher. And I'd play second base a little bit. Softball, I wasn't too bad in softball. Baseball, I couldn't hit. I could hit, but just the odd time, you know. Softball, I was, yeah, but not too bad in that. But now, what's the, what is so attractive in baseball? Oh, it's, it's really, <laughs> look, I I'm, understand hockey, I understand some other games, but baseball? Baseball is a Why do you love beautiful it? game. You see those guys picking up that ball going 100 miles an hour, and you know, you got to duck from those balls sometimes. It's a good, good game. And when it looks so easy, you can hit the ball easy, but you can't hit the ball easy. The ball comes right at you and it curves over here, or it goes like this and goes down. It's, it's a funny game to understand, but it's a good game. I like baseball a little, a little bit. I watch it every night. She doesn't like it too much because uh, she wants me to go upstairs to watch the games. She watches the TV down here, but every night at seven o'clock, I'm upstairs watching the ball game, especially now with Toronto being so close to the playoffs. I love baseball. Hockey was very good too. I mean, it kept me going anyway. I had a chance to maybe do something, but I never, I always refused it because at one time I got through out of school so often I wasn't very good in school at grade nine, and. We played an exhibition game for Jacket River when I was a kid against the Air Force in Chatham. And they beat us 6'3 or something like that, but they were really strong, the Air Force guys. And this guy seen me and he, he asked me, he said, can I see the goaltender? I want to talk to him. I said, it was me. I didn't know what he wanted. Well-dressed guy. And he said, do you know who I am? I said, no, I don't know who you are. I said, my name is Van Stoner. I'm the coach of hockey and all sports and at the University in, in Chatham at the St. Thomas. He said, how would you like to go to school here? I said, hey, I couldn't do anything in school here. I was going to school of grade nine. I, I can't go to college. And I said, why? He said, I would like to see you play football for the team because you're pretty big. But he said, I'd like to see you play in hockey because I know you play hockey. I said, where are we going to play? He said, in the North Shore League. I said, I can't play in the North Shore League. He said, we'll have four hours a day practice. He said, after you see all those pucks in four hours, you'll get good enough. And I said, no, I don't have, you know, kind of stupid, eh? I said, no. I lost a lot of education there. But in one way, I'm, I, I, I really am not sorry about it in one way. I done what I wanted to do. I always wanted to be a shovel operator, a big, big machinery, and I, I got to do that. And be with nice people and it's all I want to do in my life.